صباح الخير جود مورنينج انا نور اول شيء بحب اتشكر كثير لبنان فور تراستينج اس فروم ذا بيجينينج خصوصا داليا ثانك يو سو ماتش اي وونت تو ثانك ذا تيم يلي معي اليوم منال منار ساره وميسا فور بينج هير عليا از ا نيم فيري دير تو ماي هارت اند يو غونا ليرن واي اوكي سو عليا از ان ارتيزانال مون سيلكشن ذات هاز ستارتد ا يير اجو exactly on July 7, 2021. So it's been a year. Uh, we grow our own crops in our lands in South Lebanon. All the products that we, ha we have are Southly made. And that, uh, the recipes that are there are the traditional recipes. We are trying to uh, learn from the past with a more modern look for the brand. So this is a view of the land. That the land is in Adlun. Between Saida and Sur, it's 40 minutes away from Beirut. It's around 100,000 square meter now. Uh, you can see the, the hydroponic system. It's a 6,000 square meter hydro hydroponic system open here. It's on the main highway of Adlun. Okay, so bringing you back to the roots, we started in 2016 uh, creating a brand called uh, Greens and Colors. I will give you more details about it later on. It all started actually when we had a sick person in the family, and the doctor asked us to, uh, this person has to eat healthy and clean food, and especially fruits and vegetables. So we did some tests on the Lebanese market, sadly, most of them failed, and this is where we started in agriculture. We started with the land in Adlun uh, back in 2016. So what started as uh, something as a hobby or mainly to feed this particular person grew to become a more uh, feeding the whole family, feeding the neighbors. And from there, we created the brand that is Greens and Colors. You're going to learn more about it later on. That has started feeding the families in Beirut up until Jbeil around 150 per families per week. So this is uh, Alia. Alia is actually my mother. She's the inspiration behind it all. Uh, she's a passionate cook. Uh, she's the one even behind the land in Adlun. And she has a very good taste in food. So they are all her recipes that we started doing and we started exploring in the land. This is our stand in Abisayba. Abisay is one of the best retail uh, stores in uh, departments in uh, Lebanon. So we were the first to penetrate this uh, department with Alia. So our social impact, we started to target families in uh, socially uh, poverty uh, places that come to our land in Adlun and to help us work on the Mune. So the whole target of Alia is to empower women and to give them uh, a better edge for the future and to give them some sort of uh, a profession in their hand to carry, on, carry it on for the future. So we are value-driven artisans for sure. And recently we have been part of the United Nations Global Compact uh, Network Lebanon, believing in the 17 SDGs that we're working on globally. So, uh, here starts the branding inspiration. Alia, really, it's all about the story. And it all started as a story, and now it's becoming a brand that is going globally. Uh, this is actually our house, our family house in Kfarrimain. Uh, Kfarrimain is um, it's a village in South Lebanon next to Nabati, for those of you who don't know. It's the family house of Al Zain. It's a historic house, so it's been there for over 100 years. It has been the inspiration behind the stand that is done in Abisay Verdun. It looks like a, a village house, uh, if you want. Uh, 
the other picture is a picture, picture number two is uh, Alia's cousins, actually. It's, it's way back. And here we were inspired by the tiles on the floor to, to work on the branding of Alia. The picture number three is uh, Alia's uncles and aunts, and this is uh, actually we got inspired from the chair that has been used in, on the stand. So the stand of Alia and Abbe Severnda, for, for those of you who can make it and see it, it's really very dear to our heart, and it's really welcoming you to our home. So this is basically Alia. Every item that is behind the Alia is very thought of, has a story by itself, and this is why the branding is different from one item to another. And here you can see the ties that we were inspired from, and, um, and we took it from there. So today, uh, with the Alia, we have a total harvested land of around 380,000 square meter. Basically, most of them are in South Lebanon, and we have one land in the um, and the Bekaa Valley. Okay, so how we ev evolved? In 2016, uh, we created Au Sud. Sud is south in French. Uh, in 2017, uh, we started building the packing house that we have that, uh, where the operations happens today and the production house. We have two cold rooms there. We have solar system. We have over 6,000 square meters of hydroponic system. And now we started recently with composting. In 2018, uh, we created Greens and Colors, and here we took the Global Gap certification for the brand. And uh, in 2019, we started acquiring more lands in Tardibba, basically for the olive oil and Kfarmen and others. And here the situation in Lebanon started deteriorating, uh, unfortunately. So really it gave us a lot of headache with closing the roads in the south. The pickups used to come early morning and the roads used to close. So here we took a decision, a sudden decision in 2020 to shift most of the production to Alia. So now most of the production is going to Alia, ready for exporting. So to give you an idea about our product categories, today we have nine categories that we are working on. We have the jams, the syrups, pickled items, herbs, spices and grains, distilleries, oils and vinegar. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, runny sweets, paste and sauces, dried produced dairy products. So basically the jams, we have 13 kinds of jams. You, ha you can have a look. We have the eggplant, quince, jazariye, pumpkin, abusfair, fig jam, strawberry, apricot, apple, diced apple, mulberry, cherry. Distilleries and oils, we have the olive oil. Uh, recently we added the olive oil with hot pepper, with rosemary, pomegranate, polasses, definitely orange blossom water, rose water, grape vinegar, and apple vinegar. The syrups, we have rose, mulberry, lemonade, abusfair. The dried, we have apple, lemon, orange, tomato, and onion. Uh, the, the herb spices, we have za'atar, frike, kibbeh spice, uh, spices, kamune. If some of you are from the south, they can know the, the item. Uh, fine bulgur, coarse, dried flowers, anise, dried mint, dried thyme, sama, and sumsum. The pickled items, we have definitely the magdous, a spicy magdous, magdous with peanuts, a turnip pickles, and eggplant pickles. The natural honey sweets, we have the orange blossom honey, the peanut butter with honey. The dairy products, for sure, we have the labnim kazali that is made 100% from goat, labne, and we have the mixed one. The paste and sauces, we have the tomato paste, hot paste, dried tomato with olive oil, pesto, pizza, and arabiata sauce. So, it's not showing. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is the, the categories that we have and the items that we have today. But getting there was really hard on us. Uh, but we're glad that you are here and we're sharing this experience with you. So how we survived the crisis? Actually, we have many challenges. Most of you, that you know about it. But I'm going to repeat it again. Definitely, we have the currency fluctuation, the economic recession, the brain drain, not finding qualified people, the increase of raw material prices, the government crisis. A lot of times we requested documents from the government, but sadly, the, everything has been closed. The increase of transportation and shipping fees. Now, what we have done, of course, we couldn't manage everything. We tried as much as possible to minimize the impact it has on Alia. 
So we focus on export. Our main target was to focus on export, and we're still focusing on export. We started dollarization, the plan, starting everything, uh, pricing it in dollars, even in Lebanon, though understand it's in Lebanese lira. And at some point, we had to inject capital just to keep on going and just to lock the prices that we have in the markets. So to give you an idea, uh, we have been in the market for one year, so I cannot give you uh, two and three years back. Uh, basically, the numbers that I have are a six-month period of time, just to tell you how strong Alhamdulillah, we are moving forward. Okay, so we started basically with 51 uh, SKU in Alia, definitely 51 because as I told you before, we had greens and colors. We started producing and every time we had excess uh, products, we used to do strawberry jam, apricot jam, but then when we started Alia in July 7, we launched with 51 SKUs. In 2022, which is the first six months of 2022, we grew to 68, and now we're targeting 74. The items that we target are items that, we, that go thoroughly through uh, development in our packing house, in, our, uh, in Adlun. We have a tasting committee who tastes. We have the item who goes to the stand for customers to taste. And one, once the item really passes all the levels, then the item will be branded and will go to the market. So count of export markets, uh, last year definitely we didn't have any export. This year, the first six months, 28% of our revenues were uh, export uh, uh, products, exported to, to outside. Our target is by end of this year to uh, hit the 60%. Definitely we want to remain in Lebanon, we don't intend to, uh, to stay only abroad. So, in the crisis, um, the production volume, what started with a certain volume in 2021, we grew the first six months of this year to 1.5, uh, so 50% more of the production of last year, which was a, a big production, and we're targeting by next year to, uh, to make it times three. The sales growth, the first, uh, the, the first six months of this year, we grew 63%, and now by end of this year, we're hoping for 120% we're working on it. So export readiness, uh, we're working now on the ISO 22000 for the production house, it's in process. Uh, we have the knowledge and the qualified team, definitely uh, the, we, we have been doing a great job uh, till now. We have an equipped packing house that is ready even for expansion. Uh, we have a good variety available. Uh, we have good quantity of products for export and we can, as I said, we can expand at any point in time. We have the know-how, we have the qualifications and it all depends on the season, that's it. But other than that, we're all ready and set. Uh, today, Alia, luckily, of course, we're proud to be Lebanese to start here and to stay here. We have decided to stay, and this is why we started Alia a year ago. We didn't leave the country. So now we are definitely in Lebanon, we are in Qatar, and we are in France. We do not have any target market in mind. Really, the, 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 the world is our target. We hope someday Alia to become a global brand. So why Alia? Why Alia? We have a lot of money in Lebanon. It's not, uh, it's not something uh, that I came up with. But why Alia? Alia, first of all, really the products are super delicious. It's not me who says that. We say shet uh, majruha. But uh, <laughs> Dalia was one of the first supporters of Alia. Thank you, Dalia. Really. So uh, the items are really thought of, and I invite you after here to lunch. We have a stand upstairs. The team will be ready. You can taste any item you want. So uh, our major added value is that we take Alia from seed to table. So uh, we bring the seed, we harvest, we cultivate, we work in our packing house. So we have a full control over our quality uh, system in the packing house and on the field to bring this excellent taste. Okay, every, our money is produced in-house for sure. We empower women villages. It's really one of our main uh, target. Uh, Alia's branding that has taken a lot of success. Actually, now we're, uh, we're bidding for one uh, of uh, being one of the nicest uh, packaging that has started a year ago in Lebanon, hopefully to win this competition. Uh, so Alia's branding uh, stands out from the competition in the market. Our packing facility that is available in Adlun that is ready for expansion at any point in time and for our R&D. 
Uh, definitely, we have healthy and clean produce of all the raw materials, and we have a great variety of products. Uh, this is a picture for you. All the pictures are really for Alia and pictures for Alia. Uh, this is uh, my business card. I'll be available all day for your questions. Uh, I hope we connect together. I hope we work together. Thank you for this opportunity, Dalia. It means a lot to us. Please support us. We really want to take Alia globally. Thank you so much. Thank you.